All right, folks. Welcome to another modern stream. Today we're we're just just trying out some stuff. Okay, well, we're just gonna be trying out some stuff. Um, Stacy's back. Stacy's back. Couple of things. Um, first of all, the prowess decks have slow down a little bit they have <laughs> they have left that room of brokenness to a brand new archetype which is the um asmo etc archetype with uh, some versions with venge vine some versions with cat cat oven and some version uh, all of the versions actually with a uh, feasting trolky so like very very quick seven a very very quick seven six vigilance dudes so uh, that's kind of the deal uh, because of that i think that it's important to have access to stacy number one because it speeds up our um our titan turn like those decks don't really play any interaction at all and when there's no interaction then uh, stacy becomes a lot better because uh, there are a couple of tricks that we can do with Stacy. So, for example, if we play Stacy turn one, then on our second upkeep, we can flash in an Ursa Saga. And because of how the saga is worded, it's going to come into play with the first chapter and it's going to uh, go into uh, chapter number two immediately. Which means that we still have the effect to, to get a free amulet on, on the third turn, which is, is, is pretty strong. So, uh, well, I guess not only that, but you, we also get a construct out of the deal, which is just good deal. Um, but um, not only that, but also we can, you know, get the amulet with the trigger on the stack. You get to use the bounce land to return the saga to your hand, and then you get to play it again on your turn. And then, you you know, you, you can do a couple of cool stuff with with that. Uh, not only that, but that deck uses the graveyard a fair amount, and having access to instant speed, the Bojugibog against a deck like that is is a big deal. Also, well, endurance is kind of cool against that, against that deck, I think. Um, but this is experimental. This is experimental. A um, couple of things that I'm not sure about this uh, this list yet. Um, I ended up cutting an Asusa, so I have two Asusas, two Explorers, because I wanted to have access to the one of Gracer at least, uh, so that we can, if we do get Paradise Prowess, we can still safely side these bad boys out, so we can at least bring one Gracer in to to keep our consistent uh, ramp. But the mana base is one of the things again i'm still afraid of the card counter spell maybe this is just unfounded and i should just cut one of these this is however an untapped green source for stacy so like i still rather have the sec if i'm going to be playing two caverns i rather the second cavern be the main deck uh, land over these other two so like if that's the case i i I'd still you know play uh, rather play the cavern instead of the other ones but like I, I don't know if whether i should be playing two caverns to begin with but we'll see how that goes uh as far as the rest of the list i think it's pretty self-explanatory trying to think if there's anything weird that i'm trying besides that but not really no that's pretty much it uh, so yeah, good old amulet. We're gonna see how how uh, this league goes. If you're enjoying the content, of course, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you for round number one. And here we are for round number one with a hand that I will be keeping. Good old turn one Stacy hand. Hope that it doesn't die. And if it doesn't die, it's gonna be great. And if it does, it's gonna be sadness. Playing the sagas feels so dirt. Nah. Playing the sagas is fair and fun for everybody. Have I thought about any Carnami list with food and skills doing what well, well, but Yeah, but at the same time, no. Like scales, yes. Karn is great against scales, but against the food decks, Karn is not even that great. Oh, okay, yeah, we lose. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna be packed in for Dryad <laughs> big yikes why Stacy 
Um, lots of synergies. That's it. <laughs> oh, you have to be kidding me. Oh, man. This is the Sudek. They play one copy of Ren. <laughs> they play only one copy of Ren. <laughs> and they drew it, man. God damn it. <laughs> this is the Sudek. Oh, that's gross. I mean, at least we, we naturally found the Vesuva, so we're gonna get to... We're gonna get to, to, to Valakut, my opponent, a little bit over there, but... They play exactly one copy of Ren and Six. <laughs> That's so brutal. Uh, alrighty. That's bad. Any chance that we play more endurance to hedge against prowess? I've seen Legacy decks play as much as four to try and fight Delver. Yeah, Delver is not blue red prowess though. Delver is not blue red prowess. Is that a sick draw? Yeah, that's a sick draw. So play this, copy here. Next turn we play Amulet. One, two, three, four, five, six, Titan. Uh, we have an amulet. No, this is fine, yeah. So I think that we can win next turn. Unless my opponent has like Path to Exile or whatever. No, uh, if anything, Saga is a lot better than people are saying and it's gonna get banned. Any chance that we play? Oh yeah, no, I already read that question. <laughs> oh, okay, so I guess my opponent is just playing another deck. Like they're not playing the suit deck, so maybe they have more reds. Maybe they actually do have more reds. Stubborn Denial? Excuse me? <laughs> Stubborn Denial. I think I'm just gonna bounce and bounce again. I'm fortunate that they, they drew, uh, they gained four life, which makes things a little bit awkward, but. Um, do I wanna bounce the bounce land here? I think I'm actually gonna bounce the Valakid. Bouncing the Valakid gives me more uh, flexibility as to what to do next turn, because like, the problem is, let's say my opponent answers my Dryad, then I don't have Titan mana for next turn, which would be very problematic, and they do answer my Dryad. So, uh, by, by bouncing the, the Vesuva, I give myself the option of, if I need a Bounce Land, I can just do this again, and then if I don't need the Bounce Land, then I can go ahead and I can um, just do my thing. Chet Bake with the Prime Sava coming back for the seven month. Keep doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing then. <laughs> Noted. Noted. Uh huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play Titan. I don't like that my opponent's holding up mana over there. I don't like that part. So I think I am just gonna... Just gonna do a little bit of this. Just gain some life.
So they didn't uptick this dude, so they can only one, two, three, four, five. I guess they could have Omnath. No, Omnath doesn't do it. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna Saga, because it gives me another locker next turn. I guess maybe we lose to Tribal Flames. They flames my face. Uh, they they they're pinging my face, so I'm assuming that I'm dead here. Oliver D with the tier one sub coming back with the 26 months. Thank you so much, Oliver. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, you, you're one off because for whatever reason you didn't have to take last turn. You're exactly one off because you didn't uptake last turn. Yep. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. 10 mana, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm one mana short, right? I'm one mana short of finding Dryad. Can I haste? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We can haste. One, two, three, four, five, six. Play Titan. Bounce land plus Tron hold. Play this. Haste. Only two mana left. If I play Asusa, what happens if I play Asusa first? So Asusa. One, two, three. Play this. One, two, three, Asusa. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can play the land, gain two. I think I'm gonna be short. Yeah, because I can't block the drag the Draco. Mr. Sorry with the one sub, thank you so much for coming. For eleven months. Second best saga deck. God damn it. Um I think we're just dead here. We are one mana or like obviously it was a good idea that I got the Radiant Fountain last turn because otherwise I would have died to the Xaxes. <laughs> so that part is clear, but I think that I cannot find I think that I cannot find a line that actually gets me there. I'm just one mana short of transmuting for a, for a dryad. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because I can haste, but that doesn't really get me anywhere. Edu Basavi 9 thank you for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the Primetime Stronghold, Edu. Appreciate the support. How could I give haste to Titan? I find a bounce land and a Slayer Stronghold. I bounce the Stronghold and I play the Stronghold. That's my land for turn.
I'm bringing in trackers because I am scared to death of um they're playing stubborn that I like the list is so weird so weird um I'm scared to death of uh, of uh, slaughter games or something like that at Mordigo. Just bring one. Heh, heh, heh. Yeah, keep this one. So many amulets. So many amulets, so little time. So many amulets, so little time. Nice little left six value from OP. We do have to reset the saga, which is a little bit annoying, but honestly, it just doesn't matter too much. We're gonna get to do a ton of damage next turn. Is it good to go through one savage if you don't have an amulet? Uh, yes, because it gets me closer to having an amulet. <laughs> uh, tribal flames, my dryads. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, if, if you think that it's not good to have a saga, then you are not really understanding how our how this deck works. Like this gets me down a land, but if I have a bounce line in my hand, it gives me up on mana, right? Because it gets me an amulet, and then amulet means more mana because I have more more bounce lines. So it's not like I am I am down on mana because of because of uh, playing this on turn one. I'm actually up on mana. That's just how the nature of how Amulet works. Now, here is where we have to think. Because what I can do is I can get Expedition Map here. I think I'm going to get sick on Amulet with this one, and I'm going to get Expedition 1 with the next one. Alternatively, I can just beat them down with these constructs. That honestly seems like the better plan. Kill your rent. I think it will follow some bite. I have this member in case they have a nominath or something like that, and we are just we have them at almost lethal. <laughs> yeah, I that's what I was thinking. I can use map to go get T West, but I don't have double blue because I already played my growth chain. Yeah, this card is just unreasonable. <laughs> this is this is just unreasonable. Um I think we're fine here. Plus my window. So is those stupid noises. Well, this one is a lot riskier. <laughs> <laughs> this hand is a lot riskier. I'm gonna keep it because I'm a greed monster, but like I, I would not be surprised if I'm supposed to ship this. This is 100% banned deck. I don't think that it's this deck that's gonna ban Ursa Saga. It's just this card is too busted. I 
That's cute, opponent. I mean, to be fair, that's pretty great, actually, right? Like, the fact that Prismatic, uh, Prismatic and then just answer Samulet straight up. Like, that's super clean. That is super, super clean. Just find a bounce land like that. Sounds good to me. Here's another Saga. The answer is basic. Well, yes. Blood Moon is particularly good against this. We have to remember that we can. They bounce my saga. Sure. Uh, you do understand that this is the one that's getting the amulet, right? My opponent has no faith in me, huh? No faith, opponent. No faith that I'm going to kill you right now. No faith. So I guess we're gonna have to play this now. One, two, three. Because I need, I guess I'm gonna play the Vesuva actually. Because I can't, can I double Titan? I actually may be able to double Titan here. Um, yeah, I can super double Titan, right? No, no, I can't. I'm one minute short of double Titan. Yeah, this is, this is why we slow down and we think before we do things. So this is four mana I can play. It tapped Vesuva and taps twice gives me two mana. I can probably copy my opponent's Overgrown Tomb and I cast the Titan off of that. Then I get a green... I just want to make sure that I, I don't lose here. Oh, we have that. I'm just, I'm just being an idiot. Just being an idiot here. We, we just do have lethal here. So, Stronghold and Valakut. All right, see you for the next round. Here we go with round number two. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. Cast a little bit awkward, but... Stitcher Supplier. Ugh. Boring. If you're playing a Stitcher Supplier deck and you're not playing a uh, Goblin Bombardment, I'm not into it. I'm not into it. Show me those Goblin Bombardments. Throw some gobbles at my face. Throw some gobbles at my face. This, right here. This, this is life right here. Whew. This is what I'm talking about. Opponent playing tight hollow scholar. That doesn't even synergize with Golden Bombardment. Although I guess that they could be because I, I was playing scholar myself, so I don't know. <laughs> maybe they are playing Bombardment. Oh, maybe they are playing some Bombardment. All right. Talk to me, opponent. Talk to me.
What's up, Scott? Please don't scholar me. <laughs> Although I guess if they scholar me, like what do they even take? Yeah, here it is, like what do they take? Like do they take the prime time so they don't lose? But then I play Dryad and I have triple Valakut <laughs> next turn. <laughs> um stuff out there. I like that now we have a blocker and they can't get through. This deck's in Silver Knuders Saga. It is very good. It is very, very good, but... Um, that's really hot. That's really hot. Prime time. Easy. Give me a hallelujah for Primeval Titan. Give me a hallelujah for Primeval Titan. <laughs> hallelujah, prime time. Um, yeah, this is fine. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. Some folks out there have not yet heard the good word. Some folks out there have not yet heard the good word. <laughs> About our Lord and Savior, Primeval Titan. <laughs> the good almighty, the good almighty, You did hear correctly, Stabs. It's gonna be little little lady prime time. Little lady prime time. Thank you. Titan. <laughs> uh, do I want explosives here? You know, Arkan is a very strong name. Is it, is it a strong name for a girl too? I think I like explosives. Stacy's back, yeah. Stacy, there we go. Now that's a name. Mm. Gracias, peludo. The last cut is tough. The last cut is tough. I think I won the first one of these. When they have robot human hybrid <laughs> army begins, just make sure she knows uncles that was here for her from the start. Thank you, Stabs. Thank you for the BDs. Everclaw, thank you for the tier one sub, welcome back for the second month. Uh, How has the deck been running? Smooth as silk. Smooth as silk. Awkward. 
good. <laughs> Yeah, Sagas are pretty pretty tough to come by right now. Sagas are not easy to come by right now. This is not enough though, right? Like this is this is not gonna be fast enough. I'm gonna need some more. Gonna need some more biz here. You already got the four in paper. Good for you. Smart move. Was lucky enough to have Sagas because I told you to pick them up when they were 14. Hashtag MTG Finance. Right, Kurt? <laughs> Hashtag MTG Finance. Look at this crazer boy getting in the way of this blood gas like an absolute champ. Good old Grazer boy. Okay. <laughs> um. Discarding blood gas, man. Ugh. Ugh. All right, Stacy, it's your turn to shine. It's your chance, Stacy. Show us. Pox too good, please ban. I mean, it was kind of nutty right there. No cap. <laughs> oh, come on, opponent. Why don't you let me ramp? Just want to ramp out here. Is that too much to ask? And we don't play Colony Garden anymore, so... <laughs> mm. Lightning Bolt. Alright, I'm starting to think that maybe my opponent is not playing Goblin Bombardment. Or just playing like a weird mid-range zombie deck of sorts. Sadness enters the stack. <laughs> Sadness enters the stack. Um, changes, changes, changes. But my opponent has a lot more removal than I originally anticipated. I think I do like it. Like three, four bodies seems insane against them. How is your Maya doing? Uh, yeah, Maya is okay. Like it hasn't been insane. Like it's been insane in the lands deck. Yeah, I mean, Maya has been naughty in the in the reclaimer deck. Where is it? Yeah, it's been really good in this deck. Really, really good here. Just medium in Amulet. But I haven't yet run into situations where I'm like... I mean, I, I've run into situations where if I drew it, it would have been insane, you know, kind of thing. Like, that's that's why it's in the deck. But I don't think I've, I've been in a situation where I'm like, oh, wow, yeah, I drew a Maya here and it's so busted. Am I playing a Reclaimer today? No, probably going to be playing. Maybe play some Reclaimer tomorrow. 
Still don't know what I'm gonna be playing tomorrow. Tuesday. Bruise Day Tuesday. I have some other brews that I wanted to look at. I've been thinking about going mid-range. So... I've been thinking about... Uh, where is it? Uh, I can show you later. You just win this match first. Reclaimer Amulet with Saga. I mean, um, I have not yet like uh, tried to build Reclaimer Amulet, but if I do, it's very likely going to include some Sagas, yeah. Six. You're at work. Let me know when you're optimized time so I can make my LGS sad. I mean, the list that we got here is is pretty strong. Quite, quite strong. Uh, I think I I think I sh I should have played the bounce. Oh, I should have played the bounce there. Oh, that sucks. I was thinking, oh, I can transmute next turn, but actually, if I play the bounce and I bounce vestige, I can just tighten, forcing my opponent to have a removal here. They do, so no harm, no foul. But um, brutal. Hey. Look at that, a situation where Yabimaya is, is good. You love to see it. You love to see it. So if they have a scholar here, that's uh, really annoying. Yep, that's really annoying, but still, we get to transmute this coming turn. We are at a fairly safe life total right now. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'd rather, like it shows them what I got, but kind of is what it is. Summoner's back, you go! What do you think is the Asma full deck? I think it's very good. I'm pumped for the Ima Yelena Besuga coming in top line. Yeah. Eventually might may happen. I do love food. I do love food. My opponent is considering whether they want to bold my face or not. I mean, I don't see a reason not to, honestly. Come on. Come on. Prime time? So I guess primetime is not even good enough anymore. to three see you for the next round alrighty round number three is here 
We have 10 bounce lands. Yeah, sure. Start the double Q. I hate double queuing so much. Probably my favorite, my favorite change out of everything that they did in terms of um, like the tournament structure and whatnot. Just the fact that they switched and now we have two uh, like Friday, Saturday uh, um, showcases on one week and then Friday, Saturday showcases on the following week. Like that, that just so great. And it was so obvious, right? Like it was so easy to change that. <laughs> and the fact that they finally did it is just, it's just great. Now I don't have to double queue. Do you ever double queue off stream? No. If I double queue is because like, I kind of don't really care about the results. So I will double queue maybe I don't know if I'm like playing a draft on Arena and I'm playing like a draft on MTGO or something like that. That is the only kind of double queue that I'll do. But I just like, I, I don't like doing it. Like I, I really, really dislike double queuing. Like it's stressful. It really makes it so you misclick a lot more often. It's just terrible. And you also like tank for a million turns. And it just slows down the pace of the game for so, so long. Yeah, um, question mark is a good, <laughs> is a good thing. I would go for, I would go for question mark as well. Uh, I mean, uh, excuse me. Opponent, would you kindly explain to me what's up over there? When it was so happy until nature found. I mean, they, they cast the deputy of acquisition, so whatever they're doing, it's either terrible or I should be scared. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna err toward the sides of terrible, but I don't know. I mean, my opponent could solitude my Titan or something. Not that it would really do anything, but Riptide lab deck, that would be awesome. That would be so sick if my opponent's playing some Riptide labs over there. Living that Riptide lab life. Reflect mage? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> I guess, I guess we're just drawing things now, huh? I guess we're just drawing the things now. Am I killing your things? Yes, of course I'm killing your things. What kind of question is that? What kind of question is that? Of course I'm killing your things. <laughs> Why would I want you to have things? No things for you. No life for you either. Make robots? Sure, let's make a robot. I, I don't see why not. 
particularly since my opponent is literally just dead. Uh, okay. So we're playing against Reflector Mage. Uh, like I, I probably want this. I probably want this. That's the info I got so far. that that was neat Oof. I think I'm gonna have to turn I'm gonna have to turn on the the fan over here because it's just hot it's just hot 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 Stacy is back. Wall of Omens. Coolio. Coolio, Coolio. Do I think Adventure Harvest? Uh, I think you mean Abundant, and I think that card is just bad. Damn it. No, I can't cast my I can't cast my Stacy, man. So lucky. Such a massive tempo play from my opponent. How am I supposed to come back from that? God damn it. Tough. Really, really tough. Really, really tough. You know, because, like, I mean, they balance my Stacy, you know? Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Thank you for the follow, Big Thou Monk. People just not playing prowess because of the new cars or because it's not good anymore? I don't know. Because <laughs> I have not been playing against it, so I couldn't tell you. Soul Herder? Oh no! Oh no! Soul Herder, man! How am I supposed to beat this? Jeez. Look at this value. It's definitely not the correct play to do this, but like, look at this value though. <laughs> it's definitely the wrong line, but I mean, the value though. <laughs> 
Uh, one, two, three pips. One, two, three pips. Hmm. Hmm. Can I also make a token? Please tell me I can also make a token. You think I can? Uh, yeah, we'll just play the breeding pool, I guess. Here's another Stacy. Now I have two five fives. <laughs> Bouncing seven up kick makes me think Stacy is better than Gracie in this version. Do you agree? I don't know. I'm trying it out. That's that's what we are here to figure out. Like it's just good value, but like it's not necessarily a great play. Like right there, it was the wrong play. Like it, I I just get I probably get uh, more value by just I don't know doing something else. Um, here I'm letting them blink the wall, but that's fine. Like I'd rather them do that than be able to like play another soul herder second main. Now I just blow this up and then Titan just wins. We can do it again, but I don't think I want to this time. I could make another token though. Mm, I can't really resist making another token. Oh, it's just too much. It's too much. Can't resist it. I'm sorry. Can't resist making another token. Just out here trying to figure out why we're still playing this game. So many robots. <laughs> Transmute. Summoner's back. Another one of these. Why are we still playing? Why are we still playing? Think. Um, I mean, my constructs are already lethal. <laughs> um, I mean, haste that guy, copy this, haste that guy. Haste that guy. Play that for value. Kind of go to combat now. Wee. Maybe I'm just secretly playing against Reed Duke. And he just never concedes.
I will strike that dude. Double strike the other dude. APM master. <laughs> I'm pretty good at APMs. APM priest is the best archetype in magic, yeah. Um, actions per minute. Actions per minute. Is this really gonna be like a tilt? Oh, I'm not gonna concede. All right, I'll see you for the next round. All right, fourth round is here. Why is this expedition map all of a sudden just showing up in my hand all the time? Keeping this hand though, bottom in the map. That chat, the sixty one card special. Opponent out there leaving the sixty one card life. Respect. Inquisition. That actually kind of sucks. Take my my pact. Forest map Trump bluff. Let's go. <laughs> Sometimes mill plays sixty one to have an edge in the mirror. Sounds reasonable. They could have some of the cards, the thingies. What's the name of the thingies? Solitude, like those those things. Take a Susa. Honestly, I'm a lot more afraid of black white than I used to be, and it's because of um, it's because of vindicate. Vindicate is messed up against us. Vindicate is a fucked up card against us. I mean, if, I, if we draw a Titan, we win here. So that's nice. So here comes Kaldra. Which, by the way, is really good against us. This card is 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 kind of scary. I don't know if you're supposed to main deck it though. It 
the stuff out there. It is tough out there. So I guess price in Brazil is now like 200 reais. Jeez. So does that mean we lose now? I'm gonna lay out the second growth chamber. Reason being if I find the AT West I can actually transmit. I, I I don't know. Like I haven't played with that archetype enough to know like how often. Like what what is the percentage of the times that your turn two Stoneforge dies? Because if you stir if your turn two Stoneforge dies very often, then just combat damage to a creature you exiled it. First strike alongside when it deals combat damage to a creature you exile it. It's a, it's a pretty good combo, gotta say. Pretty good combination of words. All of those seem fine, these seem also fine. I think I like Gracer. Do we like Tracker? I don't think I like Tracker. <laughs> I think my opponent's just going to destroy my stuff, so I think I'm going to sag on two. Supposed to sag on one. It delays the amulet turn by one. Delays the amulet turn by one though. But I think that the tokens are gonna matter more. If I had a bounce on in hand, then I would probably lead on the saga though. Would I bring force in the Emerald Mirror? 100%. This is the most important card in the Amulet Mirror. Being able to blow it up for zero mana is a huge deal. If they have the Ephemerate here, this is probably just game. I mean, they can't take this saga though, so maybe we're still in this. I mean, Triple Thoughts is just fucked up though, so. Must be nice. Must be nice. 
See, my yeah, my opponent is just living that 61 card life. That's a really, really good turn one. That's a really, really good turn one. Sure, four thoughts uses. <laughs> four thoughts uses. Uh, I guess I actually don't want to have to out of yield to that, huh? So we're gonna get two three threes, which is, I guess it's not nothing. Two three threes is not nothing. Really hoping we can find another saga. How did we gain life? Oh, Radiant Pumped. Duh. Here's my contract. Yeah. Oh, no. We can't copy. Complete and other, utter sadness. Um, I mean, what we could do is we could get Expedition Map here. We could get Expedition Map, get another Saga. Never mind, we can't because I cited him out. Of course, of course, of course. Why do I can't copy? Because this triggers at the beginning of my main phase and I can't play a land. Three. We are technically winning the race. So there's that. Don't vindicate my sanctuary. Don't vindicate my sanctuary. Don't vindicate my sanctuary. Maybe setting out back. Yeah, I mean, I'm yes, I am obviously realizing that right now. <laughs> Thank you, Sherlock. <laughs> Shh, don't tell my opponent. Don't tell my opponent that I drew that. Maybe they won't have another thoughtsies. Don't tell them. Yeah, I, I, this is. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is so fucked, man. <laughs> I've been thoughts it six times by the time <laughs> All right, give me that thoughts is number six numero six Thoughts is number six right here <sighs>
Wait, they... Uh, there's no way. There's no way that the 3 damage is worth more than getting rid of the Force of Vigor. There's no way. There's no way that's possible. Even if they cited out the scholar, there's no way that they cited out the um the Stoneforge package. Like how many cars did they bring in? That's a tutu now. Fear. Fear my tutu opponent. Sometimes it's just not meant to be, chat. Sometimes it's just not meant to be. Yeah, I'm not talking about Kaldra. They can't hard cast Kaldra, right? <laughs> so I'm not worried about Kaldra, but they could have like Sword of Feast and Famine and shit like that, more. Also, there's no way in hell that they would ever side out their Scholars. Like it's literally one of their best cards in the deck. So I guess getting thoughts used five times will do it. I guess the getting thoughts used five times will do it. That was that was that was. See you for the next round. Alright, here we are for the last round. Seems like a fine keep. Can go turn one, Balaka, turn two, amulet, Stacy amulet. Seems strong. Then we can take it from there. I guess we're playing against the, the troll king deck. So this just makes infinite foods, which is kind of neat. Is Emery good? I have no idea. I'm just gonna allow them to start drawing two cards a turn, so seems good to me. Gotta just gotta draw something over here. <clears throat> Excuse me, good sir. Good sir, deck. Could I please draw something? That would be delightful. Please and thank you. Can't imagine this deck beating Titan. Uh, I don't know. I haven't played against it. I don't know how disruptive they are. They can make it. They're gonna be able to make a lot of food, man. That's a lot of food. The funny thing is that Expedition Map finds me a Titan in a very roundabout way. Look at my opponent leaving the one land life out there.
we are one land away from some delicate stuff. This being bounce lands is pretty awkward though. They can't get back Troll King because they can only activate this during their turn. I think my opponent thought that they could do that and now they're realizing that they can't. But they can only get Dan on their turn, which is so weird. Doesn't even say Sorcerer Speed. It's from your hand, create three food tokens. This card is messed up, man. This card is very, very strong. So they're going to be able to get Witches Sylvan next turn. the most important thing for us is uh, to find um, to dodge that card from evil titan please yeah <laughs> yep sweet seven six vigilance trample haste huh that's the that's the bar that we have to that we have to surpass <laughs> That is the bar that we have to surpass. 7-6 Vigilance Trample. <laughs> Hold my beer. <laughs> Hold my beer, Fistle Trunky. I gotcha. I gotcha. Just hang in there. Uh, endurance seems fine. Force seems actually fine. I don't think explosives is great. I don't think racer is necessarily great. I don't think explorer is great. You could have just played growth chamber last turn for the win. Why? I want to hold the bounce. I want to hold the growth chamber in my hand. Why would I want to play it out? It just nets so much more mana. Oh no no, they bubbled me and they saw that they that there was a Tolary West in the top of my deck, so they knew what I what I was drawing. Veil would have been useful last match against Grief. Yeah, sure. It's called results oriented thinking. I don't, I don't really um, like that part. Not really the way that I build my decks. It's like, oh, I get paired against, you know, like the freaking, uh, the, the deck that Spike was playing today, like the, the Soul Herder deck. So I should have, Tor Torpor Orb would be great in the cyber. It's just like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Torpor Orb also makes half of my cards bad too. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm, I'm cyborging here. Chat? Shh. Chat. Shh. I need to cyborg here. Um, I 
feels like I'm gonna need this member. Like, I don't love this member, but I just need it. I'm cutting a puck because I'm on the draw. Maybe on the play I would change something. Need EE for Asmo. Well, that's why I'm playing this member. I know what EE does, but EE also blows up my own cards. <laughs> it's not, it's not that you just bring in EE and it's here we are. Good. Um, uh, yeah, let's keep this. Saga background. Saga background is pretty sick, right? I like it. EE for zero. Oh. That does make explosives a lot better because they also have a bunch of foods. I don't want to over sideboard. Like it's just so easy to over sideboard against a deck like this, particularly with a deck like this. So I feel like ugh, the chances of just over cyborging are are pretty high. I think I'm actually gonna go for Saga on one. So that five times easier. Yeah, I mean, I I can only read so much of chat, you know. <laughs> I will I will miss what folks say every now and then. Like it's just just what it is. This can go find another amulet. I think I'm just gonna make it one one here. I must for want to see an endurance get ephemerated against stretch. That'd be nice. I mean, opponent doesn't know about this. We also can't really cast it, so that's kind of awkward. Oh come on! <laughs> God damn it! Deck, please. Also, what the hell is my opponent doing over there? Just cycling Street Wraithers and Mishra's Bubbles and just not doing anything. Went from no lands to all lands. Yeah, that's kind of what's up. Opponent can't catch a break out there. Like, what are they doing? Well, I mean, we can't catch a break either, so. Apparently, we cannot catch a break either. And we're just gonna continue milking this Ursa saga, I guess. <laughs> we're gonna keep on milking this Ursa saga because it's the only thing that we got going on, so. That's the plan. Okay, what is this? The 4-2. <laughs> okay.
Here's a dryad. Here's a very casual Slayer Stronghold. Don't mind my Slayer Stronghold. Now we're just fetching for no reason. I mean, this is, this is what's up. <laughs> this is what we're doing here. Um, oh, I shouldn't have, ugh, that was a mistake. Now I can't activate Sun Home. Whoops. Yeah, I should have, I should have left this so I can flash this in on Insta. This saga continues. Yep, just never ending, never ending saga. You shuffle. There we go. All right, upkeep. Flashing Saga. Make another dude. We can haste that dude. It's the same one. <laughs> I have cast basically zero spells this game. <laughs> I haven't cast anything. Um, so this is red. So I can't activate both. I can't activate both. I can only activate one of them. Is it better to stronghold? I think it's just better to double strike. Just right click at our goal. Oh, I thought this guy could attack up. Okay. I I'm just playing like shit, but it just doesn't matter because just Ursa Saga is, is just not reasonable. I love how you can have just like saga games where you just do nothing, you just sit there and you just cast and recast and recast your stupid land and just make 40 power or something. Um, <laughs> good job, Watsi. Good job. That's good. That's good. I'm gonna play another league. But that's going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you for the next one. Like and subscribe.